I attended the StreamYard Town Hall a few weeks ago, and the founders, Dan and Gage, shared their reason for creating the platform. Pretty simple, really. To create a tool that non-techie, non-broadcast slash media professionals could use to get their message out to the masses using video. No RTMP, no stream key, no bit rate, no 360, 480, 720p, literally just select your destinations, add your camera slash mic and go live. Part of their meteoric rise to success has been keeping things simple and that strategy paid off for many, but for people like me, we had to move on. We wanted more flexibility, options, functions and features that provide freedom and and creativity. Essentially, we wanted to take the training wheels off. I need training wheels. <laughs> and it was clear StreamYard wasn't going to do that until now. Ah. StreamYard has added custom layouts, y'all. The ability to edit existing layouts and save them as your own. I mean, we can create our own layouts from scratch with layer priority, and we can move cameras and shared items anywhere we want to on screen and even crop in on them for a different look and feel. Custom layouts is the beginning of a shift for StreamYard to cater to the more advanced while keeping things simple for their core audience. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. Coach, and on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at custom layouts in StreamYard, part one. So here we are in StreamYard and I've added a couple of cameras in, I've added a presentation in so that we can kind of play around with some of the layouts. Um, right off the bat, I wanna show you where the new feature is and some of the tools and settings that you might wanna know where to locate them as we use it. So this pencil right here in the bottom corner and the plus sign, these were not here before y'all. New layout, edit layout. These are the secret sauce. This is where the magic happens. This is what causes me to be excited. Like this, y'all just need to understand. Like <laughs> StreamYard was the, one of the first platforms I used uh, to be able to live stream as a solo producer, solo streamer. And um, I'm, I'm happy to see that this day has come. So we can hit this, this edit layout, but uh, pencil to edit the layout that's there and we can decide whether or not we want to uh, keep these here crop them in pull them around it's 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 a two-person layout so you get to decide how many people are here uh, we can actually decide if it's fit or fill right fit and fill you can actually change that so that it it um it actually pulls them in together you can actually decide whether or not it's one or ten people in this box that you're moving around. So keep that in mind as well. I'm gonna change that to one and just move it move it around a little bit. Um, I can then decide, okay, I'm gonna add another camera slot. And you can see the haptic response in terms of the, the lines on screen for designing. So I can see when I have it at the right size, I can see that I have it at the right place. So I can actually just size these up any way that I want. These two, I have them small. I can actually decide, okay, here, I'm gonna do another camera slot, but I want it a little bit bigger and I want it cropped in. So I can actually come here, go to fill, um, and then just drag down. Boom, look at that. Uh, make that a little bit smaller, but that's, you, you have the ability to do those kinds of things now with your edit layout or new layout button. Then we can also add a, a media slot and we can, Maybe even put this like all the way, you know, to take up the whole screen. But now we can simply take the layer priority and move it back so that the the the, the media layout or the shared screen or shared video, whatever it is, is behind the people that we have on screen. We can click save there and we can call that custom layout number five, save new layout. And all we've got to do is simply add these um, all to the screen. So you know that this is a standard layout that StreamYard gives us is one of the defaults. You can see that right here in the middle, but custom layout number five takes that layout, puts my my videos on top of the graphic behind it, or you know the, the, the slideshow behind it. Of course, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because of the way that this is formatted, but you can see some of the potential here. And again, we can go back in and hit edit and set decide, okay, we wanna move this over a little bit, um, move that over some and and move this over some as well and we have this where it's it's two here uh let's get rid of that let's do one instead and we have that lined up properly 
And so now we click save, update layout. Yes, or you can save it as a new layout, you see. And once we hit save, those changes are then published to your live stream. So you can actually edit on the fly. <laughs> you can edit while live. Like, you know how it goes with StreamYard. You can have multiple producers. Uh, we could actually have somebody who is making new scenes, new layouts while we're live and then just publishing them just updating them um so many different ways that this can be used and i wanted to make sure you guys get a chance to see that uh, we, we did share that you can crop in on the camera you have layer priority as well and of course you, this would work with both a, a slideshow that we've actually shared in as a slideshow um, i'm using the pdf slideshow feature uh, but you could also use the the uh, screen share which we're, we're doing a screen share that would work um, and it would also work with a video as well so multiple different things here i'm going to just kind of go through some of the other uh, scenes that i've created this is one that I actually created for this slideshow. And in a, another video, we might actually take a look at some of the other things that we can do with our designs to be able to really take advantage of the fact that we can put anything anywhere now in StreamYard. So make sure you check uh, subscribed and you're checking for that video because that'll be coming up real soon after this one. But you can see, you know, I'm moving through my slideshow. This is another this is another one. We've kind of put them in two different places on the sides here. I'm going to change my brand to my default. Um, and then in my default, I think I have some uh, I have I've got uh, some. There we go. This is this is a different background. I'm going to remove this one. So there's a different background It's a different look and feel. People know this from my show and so many different ways that we can utilize this, man. So many different ways that we can utilize this uh, to be able to really have a really cool experience for not only us, but for those who are watching and um, not really just sticking to the default layouts. Now, one last thing I want to show you before we close this thing out uh, is if you want to go through and change what layouts are available here on the bottom, you'd simply go to settings right here in the bottom. You see where it says settings. Um, you can see layouts here. You go to layout. And now you have crop solo layout to show background of image that was always there. But you now see all of the different layouts that I have created. And you can come here, you can hit the three dots, you can rename it. Um, and maybe you name it for a different show or a different scene or something like that. But you can also uncheck the ones that you don't want to use anymore. You can uncheck the de default ones so that you have the space for those custom layouts across the bottom of your live show in StreamYard. Pretty dope. You should know that there are more ways to use this newfound freedom. There's, there's more, please keep going. There's a lot more. <laughs> if you followed any of my StreamYard tutorials, you know I specialize in hacks and I'm going to share five custom layout hacks every StreamYarder needs to add in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed so you get notified when that drops. Let me know in the comments how you intend to use custom layouts or if you're going to stick with defaults they give us. Learn more StreamYard features from these videos.